Imagine you're listening. It gets worse. Now, imagine you're listening to a consultant. She is dressed in the McKinsey uniform of black outside, white inside, and she is standing on a slightly raised dais in a cavernous hall with some company's logo woven into banners draped across walls in the darkness. An audience surrounds her. Some sit behind her at a long table the length of a darkened stage, populated by clean water pitchers and august old men and women at rest. You are in a large and hugely silent group of, say, a 300 people in stadium seats facing her. She is pretty, and for that and other reasons, you find yourself interested in what she has to say. She takes a sip of water from a glass and replaces it. Then she begins to speak. She says this. Thank you for coming. Today I'd like to socialize our sanity check and robustify the straw man we set up to drive your strong form learnings going forward. As you know, when we ramped up the pod and began to iterate on the so what's, we architected a baseline without boiling the ocean or reinventing the wheel. At the end of the day, net-net, our key takeaway was that the environmentals in this space are target-rich, and with the right learnings we could chunk out a deck that laid out the red light, green light to top-line growth. We knew this gap analysis was far short of a grand unifying theory, but we liaised with the stakeholders and put a chinning bar up. After a few revs, we got some reasonable pushback that uh, while our hypotheses were sufficiently outside the box, they were also sporty and perhaps even off the reservation. Our worry bead at that point was that we were populating a deliverable, but we were not far enough along the curve, and may even, frankly, have been building a magalog that couldn't pass the red face test. Off the record, it was largely P out of FHA. Long pause for laughter. What we need now is your buy-in for the warm handoff and a warm fuzzy, not to mention the call-up for afterward. With a triumphant flip of her mane, it's a magnificent golden umber, she steps back to greet the applause. And it comes, slowly at first, then with more vigor as the old men and women at the long table begin to bang their raw claws together like carpet beards. And yes, it is a triumph, a speech for the ages. And you join them. How could you not as the approval rolls over the crowd like a wave of despair? The one question you would have is, what did she say? If you had been able to translate Meredith's speech into English, it would have read something like this. Thank you for coming. Today I'd like to tell you what we have been doing. When we got here, we believed you were in a troubled industry, and we could probably figure out some way to help. But we showed you a few ideas, and you didn't like them. Philly. Long pause for laughter. <laughs> what we need now is your agreement that we can stay. 